someone is gonna die. Uh, spoilers. Sorry, this is gonna be full of spoilers. I'm a min-maxer. <laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, and everyone in between, I'm your host, Squints a lot, and today we're playing Frostpunk. This has got to be one of my favorite games of probably the last 10 years. I have gotten very addicted to it. I'm a big strategy resource management simulation type player. So I have played many, many games of Frostpunk, and I have played most of them on medium difficulty. I've just kind of started dipping my toe into the hard difficulties. Um, and I have yet to unlock the achievement to beat a new home on hard difficulty. So that's what I'm going to be trying to do with this playthrough. Hopefully I'll be able to do it. It'd be really nice if I could also get Iron Savior, which is to finish the, uh, the scenario with no deaths from cold, hunger, sickness, overwork. That's a tall order. We roam the still. We'll try. World. No horizon in sight. The rulers of old, stripped of pride and glory. It feels as yesterday we were turning the wheels of progress. Until the frost stopped it all. Suddenly, without a warning. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us, no matter wealth or class. We have lost our world to snow. And with it, our last traces of humanity. to plenty, and for those who remained, came the time to adapt. We decided to leave our homes and head north. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed had made us. It was hope pushed us forward, slowly, step by step. We knew the cost of our journey, and we paid the price a hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. A new home. We fled from London and crossed the sea to reach the frozen north. On the way, our convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. A handful of us managed to reach the site of this generator, only to find it frozen solid and abandoned. Why is no one here? Did any of our people survive the blizzard? Are there any others out there? Whatever we do, we should expect the worst now that the world as we know it has crumbled. We have to survive. So this uh, lovely hole in the ground is now our new home. Isn't it cozy? So my first day in any new game of Frostpunk is exceptionally long. It's probably, all we'll do today is get through one day of Frostpunk because I spend a lot of this first day paused, thinking, and calculating. Hope you like slow, methodical playthroughs. Fight the cold. We need to get the generator working. 
It provides heat and power to the other buildings. Without it, we'll freeze to death. Stockpile some coal and start the generator. Yeah, we might do that. All right. Pause immediately. Smash the space bar. Let's see what we've got. We've got uh, five coal over there, uh, a couple of wood crates over here, a couple of wood crates over there, and two piles of steel. Three piles. Wait. Yeah, three piles of steel. All right. So, where are our other resources? We've got uh, an iron deposit over there. A coal deposit. I um, am thinking a bit into the future here. This is not something you n normally need to worry about if you're new to the game. I just kind of like to know where my stuff is. Coal deposit. And I have no idea where my wall drill locations are. Later tech, if you're new to the game, ignore me. Okay, first day is about resource gathering, really. Uh, we have 50 workers, which is uh, this number right here. We've got 15 engineers, and those are your educated workers. Uh, and then we've got 15 children and they're not allowed to work. <clears throat> first thing I do in a new game is open up the Book of Laws. We're going to look at the adaption tree, and um, I feel like there's only two ways to start a game of Frostpunk, and that's either uh, child labor and doing safe jobs so that you get some extra workers, or emergen emergency shift. Um, I actually prefer to use child shelters. I like the hope bonus, and I like doing medical apprentices later uh, to make people heal faster when they have to go to the doctor. Um, and besides, later on in the game, you'll have more people than you know what to do with and are able to employ. So I feel like child labor is a very short-sighted law. Whereas emergency shift, while I'm not actually going to use it, is uh, a prerequisite to opening up the law for extended shift shifts, which I will use immensely. Okay, so we've got uh, a book of laws, uh, a law signed. The reason I do that is because uh, time matters at the beginning of the game. Like I'm used to playing on medium difficulty. This is hard. It, it matters more the harder you harder your settings are. So, in 18 hours, we can sign another law, and that will be extended shift. Uh, I'll have to think about whether or not I want to use an emergency sh shift. You get one. You get one emergency shift. Uh, the second time you use emergency shift, someone is going to die. Uh, spoilers. Sorry. This is going to be full of spoilers. I'm a min-maxer. Okay. So we need to collect all the things uh, because I'm playing on hard difficulty. Uh, I don't start with anything, uh, any wood or steel. And I only start with 50 raw food in medium difficulty. You start with, I think, 30 wood, 10 steel and 100 food, raw food, um, which gives you a nice little head start. But doing it this way, just have to pick up everything yourself. Okay, so I still have 35 workers and engineers, 20 workers and 15 engineers. I'm going to put the engineers over here on the steel wreckage. And uh, let's see here. Um, those are also wood crates. I need to pick up some coal. We will not be bothering turning on the generator <clears throat> tonight. Because we're going to be building tents, hopefully. But I do want to get some coal stockpiled because we will need it. Uh, looking ahead at the forecast. On day four, we're going to have a significant temperature drop. We're going to drop two levels. And we need to be ready for it. Right now, um, 
everything's just chilly. If it drops uh, two levels, that means in on the fourth, everything that is not heated somehow is going to be very cold. Uh, temperatures matter. The colder your people are, the more likely it is they'll get sick. Uh, when they get sick, they can't work. And, well, then they're just u- a useless drain on resources. Uh, okay. I have five workers left. You can... You can go ahead and get some of this wood. Okay. Moment of truth! Let's get this party started! Begin! Alright, I am going to be playing a lot of this on a regular speed, especially at the beginning. I don't like trying to speed through time because mistakes happen and this early in the game every second matters in my opinion of course that may be just my obsessive need to min max everything talking so if you see me making errors let me know okay everybody is hanging out to their respective workplaces um you might notice our wood and steel and coal inventories are actually increasing despite the fact that nobody's actually arrived or they're just arriving at their workplaces the workers in this game and as soon as their work shift starts they begin producing whether or not they're at the building they're supposed to be at which is nice um but also if you get the stuck worker bug which I haven't played for a little while. Maybe they fixed it. But if you get the stuck worker bug, uh, I almost wish they didn't produce until they got to their workplaces because then you'd know somebody was missing. But let's not complain because it allows for a little bit of min-maxing and uh, I enjoy min-maxing. Okay, I paused it again because I actually want to get a gathering post down. Um, gathering posts are great because they keep your people warm and they allow you to uh, gather faster and gather from multiple multiple piles within range uh, and if you're wondering why I placed that tent, it's because I'm a little obsessive compulsive about my placement. Uh, not crazy, in my opinion, but a little obsessive compulsive. Uh, so I wanted to make sure I laid down that road in the right spot. And we have enough for a gathering post. Now you'll see the radius there um, and the piles turning green. That means those are the ones that will be collected from. And I'd like to keep it on one side of the street or the other, and I think that will work just fine. Okay, oh, and before I place that, I can see where my wall drills are now. Okay, so a couple of steel mills. Okay, wall drills are over here. And then two coal deposits. All right, nice. Okay, place this resource, or not resource, gathering post. Back one. Not adjacent to the street, so I actually need one more road segment? No. No! Okay. I, I have a hard time seeing. This is this is why I'm squints a lot. Uh, I'm just going to move that over one. All right. Adjacent to the street. That's excellent. And yes. Okay. It is in the correct place. Now, um, because all of our people are already at work, if I just hit play, they won't actually start working on any of that uh, construction, the street or the gathering post until after the workday is done. Um, and I want them to get started on it. So 
I am going to take the five workers who are over here, take them off that wood pile. Um, and those five workers are now assigned to this road. There's no way to check that, but they'll go and build roads first. The, the workers in this game, they just, they love building roads. They will drop everything except for work if they're already at work to go and build roads. Doesn't matter if the road is on the other side of the map, they want to build that road. Roads are amazing. Yeah. So, once they're done with this little uh, stretch of road here, those five workers will get uh, assigned to building this road gathering post. Now, that being said, I would actually like to take a few guys off of this one, off this wood crate. Now you'll see we have 10 unemployed workers. Um, seven of them are working on this road. The three still remaining have been assigned to build this gathering post. As soon as the seven working on this road are finished, they will come and help with this gathering post. And then as soon as it is done, well, they can get to work in there. They're building their own workplace. Okay. So we're just kind of waiting for them to do their thing. I'm keeping an eye on the time. It's a little bit before two. In the afternoon, uh, the workday ends at 6 p.m. Yes, 6 p.m. Uh, I'm, I'm, I usually it's 8 p.m. for me because I always turn on emergence or uh, extended shifts. Uh, but before you have extended shifts, it's uh, it's 6 p.m. Yes, 6 p.m. 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. are the regular working hours. Come on, finish it up. Why, where are the workers that are supposed to be building this? Is, is that you? You're going to build, you're going to build. I did build all the roads, right? Okay, excellent. All right, everybody is working on this now? Yes, everybody is working on this. Finish it up and then get to work. Get to work. Oh, will they be able to actually do, you know what, I think I might, pop the emergency shift on this gathering post. We've got 77 there. Do I actually need to though? 84, 31? I might actually be better off like popping it on one of these wood piles over here. Take the, uh, whoop. Pay attention to what you're doing, squints. Okay, so they will gather for about 45 minutes. Uh, there's 29 steel left and 154 wood left. I might actually, as soon as the work day ends, I think, take them off of that gathering post and move them over. There we go. 6 p.m. End of the work day. We're going to take these 10 off of there, put them over here. Ooh, right, we can actually put 15 over there. Let's see here. I don't want any engineers over there because I'm gonna have jobs for them later. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use emergency shift. People are gonna be unhappy about this. I don't really care. Now, one of them is protesting already. Seriously, we just got here. <sighs> there, we don't have any houses or anything. I really feel like you should just accept that life is gonna suck here, going to a protest. All right, anywho. So what happens now that the workday has ended is everybody just like goes and hangs out unless there is something to build. So let's give them something to build. Now somebody is going to complain. I am certain 
about the lack of shelter because it's so cold out. Um, and tents will make them happy. You're cold? You get a tent. Uh, it seems to me a, a little flimsy for this kind of weather, but hey, if it makes them happy. Um, ten wood, so actually, I am short two wood to get them all. Actually, before I do that, though... Okay, so I need 80 wood for the 10 tents I need. Each tent houses 10 people. But I also need to get online, probably. Oh, 25 wood for a medical post. What do I want to do here? If I give them all tents, I don't need to turn on the generator. If I turn on the generator, I don't need to give them tents. I think maybe, let's see. Okay, so I'm clicking on the, the generator. One, I need six coal per hour to do that. That will give us about a day of coal Let's do that. We'll go ahead and turn on the generator. And then they can just all sleep on the ground next to the generator. Warm enough. Um, which leaves that wood for us to actually build more important things. Namely, I want a workshop. Definitely want a workshop. This is, this is, like, nothing happens in the game until you've got a workshop. You need to research stuff. So, definitely need one workshop. Maybe two. Maybe two. Okay, so the first workshop, uh, obviously grants you the, the ability to research, but, uh, it doesn't double every time you add a, a workshop. I think the second workshop increases research speed by like 30 or 40 percent we'll check we'll check once they're built but i do I, I think i will do that uh we've got we can go another day or so without feeding people i think i mean and not that big a deal, right? You don't need food that badly. Just go gather stuff in the cold. Um, food will become an issue fairly quickly, though. So... Let's put a road... Ugh. I hate using all this wood on roads. We'll put a road uh, here and we're going to need some hunter's huts eventually. All right, so we've got research sorted. We need food. So if we build a hunter's hut now, and then we could build a mess hall tomorrow night. The mess hall is how you convert raw food into rations that are actually um, edible. Although raw food is edible if people are hungry enough. It's just, it's not a good idea. Um, We'll put down a hunter's hut. And tomorrow we'll focus on the mess hall. And we'll see, let, let's see here. We'll see what happens tonight. I'm almost certain we're going to end up with somebody being sick. So we'll probably need a medical post tonight as well but 
We don't have the wood for that. That's why we've got the 24 hours going. 24 hours shift over there. We're going to get enough wood to build a medical post. And then we have this problem. No roofs over our heads. Captain, people are understandably concerned about the lack of shelter. They're falling ill from e from eating. They're falling ill from sleeping outside in this terrible cold. We'd better do something about it. All right. We're going to be able to do something about this. Uh, it gives you a few days. You can You can take two days and build some shelter for 40 people uh, that will give you a little bit of a hope bonus uh, if you shelter everyone it gives it gives you a bigger bonus um, and if you think you can't do it you want to not address this right now people will get discontented but not as much as if you promise to do something and then don't I don't know what it is some people don't like broken promises. I don't know. So I think we're going to be just fine promising eight tenths. We've got two days to do that. Hopefully that wasn't a terrible, terrible mistake. Okay. So you see now every all of these uh, buildings have somebody assigned to it. Uh, 10 people, each one building, which means we've still got some people just kind of like standing around doing nothing. Uh, and that's all right. That's, that's fine. Um, actually, while they're doing that, we'll read this. Hi. Uh, a word of advice. The wisdom of the crowd. Captain, when facing demands, remember this. People usually look for the quickest solution, not the best one. You don't have to agree to everything they ask for. If you fix the problem your way, it's fine. Thanks, advisor. I happen to know that. And a lot of times I will tell them no, but I think we'll be all right this time. All right, so everybody is hanging out around the generator unless they're building. Everybody is pretty comfortable. These are all um, insulated buildings, workshop and uh, hunter's hut. So people are staying pretty warm. Hopefully that means we won't have too terribly much uh, in the way of sick people. All right. Now, what I was going to do before I was rudely interrupted by my advisor was find out where I put my engineers because I need them. Uh huh. I now need them to actually, we'll just take them all off. We're going to have a medical post tonight. I'm almost positive we're going to have a medical post tonight. And let's see, actually. Ooh, oh, right. <laughs> Research is a thing. That's the whole reason I built the workshop. Okay, um, I'll do that in a minute, game. I'll do that in a minute. Stop, stop bothering me. Go away, son, you're bothering me. We're gonna take these people off of their random stuff. Actually. Because I want them working over here in the, um... gatherers hut because this pile is on a 24-hour work shift i'm just gonna let it go leave those those 15 workers over there we need wood something fierce let's see actually before i decide what to research we have 78 68 97 120 we're gonna be hurting for wood before you know it. So what do I want to research here? We've got a couple of days until the first temperature drop. Um, we will end up wanting heaters there. So <sighs> it's always difficult. Like uh, I want to start scouting as soon as humanly possible. But I'm going to be struggling for the resources to build the beacon anyways. 
I have played before on medium choosing faster gathering at the beginning, which really speeds up picking up those piles. And it only costs 10 wood, but picking the piles up faster just means I run out of resources faster. So I think the best options would probably be either sawmill or hunter's gear because we're playing on a higher difficulty and we only started with 50 raw food. We're going to run into food problems fast. So, okay, so we've got one more day before we actually have to feed them when people start like getting really, really hungry. Um, so I think we should be okay to research sawmill. Now that's going to take 11 hours. When we finish up the second workshop, it'll go a little bit faster. Um, and hopefully, hopefully we can squeeze it all into one day and we'll build or we'll research the sawmills first that we could finish that on day two, which would leave us day three. What would we research on day three? With that temperature drop, and it's, it's gonna be a pretty decent temperature drop. And it looks like it's going to be at least two days before it raises up again. Hopefully just two days. That would be nice. But it's hard difficulty, which means um, the weather is going to be even crappier than normal. <sighs> it means we'd only be able to research one more thing. It would probably end up being heaters. Which will... No, we could probably make it a day with it being cold. Or very cold. So I think what we'll do, we'll finish up this workshop, make sure we get a... Medical post down. Preferably get it started before midnight. I need one more wood. There it is. Okay. And we're going to drop a medical post right here. Yep. I know we're out of wood. Thank you so much for that information game. Okay. We've got um, five open slots for these engineers. Okay. So workshops take engineers. You got to be educated to be a scientist apparently. Um, and then the medical post also takes engineers. So our last five engineers that I pulled off that pile earlier will be employed here. Um, we're getting close to midnight. Uh, I'm not going to have them build any more stuff after midnight. I don't, I haven't tested it personally, but everything that I've I've seen watching other Let's Plays and reading about Frostpunk is if they're out after midnight, um, late into the night, it increases their chances of getting ill. <clears throat> now then, what do I want to do with this hunter's hanger? Okay, we've got 15 workers in there and I want to keep them there. I want those guys to stay there. We've got 10 here, 10 here. Um, I think we'll take these 10 and throw them in there. I'm probably focusing on food a little bit sooner than I absolutely need to. Um, so I'm just going to do 10 in there. Let these 15 workers over in this uh, coal pile continue what they're doing. Now then, do I have, I have a source of everything. This gathering po post is picking up wood and steel. Uh, these guys have wood. These guys have coal. So I now have a source of all resources, which is excellent. Um, okay, so, and um, 
you guys can finish that medical post. We'll go ahead and employ them, the, the five engineers. And then, like I said, I think just one day for this first episode, uh, because this has been a very long day. Oh, and look at that timing. It's perfect. Uh, that is not what I meant to do. Uh, it is 23.53, almost midnight. We got five people in there now. We probably won't see our six people until the next episode uh, because the game, I think, rolls around like two o'clock in the morning to five o'clock in the morning to find out who's sick and who isn't. But when they are sick, we have doctors on staff waiting for them, which is excellent news for them. And if nobody gets sick, we'll just take everybody, out, take those engineers out of the medical post and have them do something else tomorrow. But I don't think I've ever played a game where I didn't have at least one or two sick people the first night. So we're, we're gonna go ahead and let it click over to midnight. Bam, there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me on this first day of Frostpunk. Uh, I welcome any suggestions, any feedback you guys have, because this is actually the first let's, let's Play I've ever recorded. So be gentle. Thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you in the next episode.